Now I wonder, what does a person worth hundreds of millions of shillings look like in your mind? How about a billionaire? Well, Parliament's Public Investments Committee could have been sitting across from one this morning had the pending payments due to those who supplied Kemsa at the height of the COVID-19 scare not been suspended. Olive Burroughs witnessed the interrogation of James Chelule, the director of Shop and Buy Limited, a company that won tenders worth billions. Who is your godfather? My name is James Chelule, and the person who transacted with Kemsa is still James Chelule. There's no good Wednesday wasn't the first time that the name Shop and Buy came up before the Parliamentary Investments Committee of the National Assembly, and that is in the course of its investigations into the utilization of public funds earmarked for COVID-19 by Kemsa. This is now where, where Sakaja's name comes in. She says she does not know whether that letter was for Sakaja, but when she delivered that letter, Sakaja was in the office. Before Pamela came to this committee, Charles Juma was the one who came here and said that he feels that Sakaja was involved with your company. But Nairobi Senator Sakaja, a former chair of the COVID-19 ad hoc committee of the Senate, wasn't the only high-profile name that was invoked in the course of Wednesday's proceedings. You know, it's been mentioned that uh, the deputy president, for example, supported me just because we come from the yeah. same tribe. Though Chelule claimed sole proprietorship of Shop and Buy, he found it a hard sell to convince legislators that a non-entity was able to secure a billion shilling tender, having never traded with anyone before Kemsa, a company that was neither pre-qualified nor had the quality of its PPEs checked. Either you guys say a different prayer than all other Kenyans, or something else happens because it, uh, the members are just simply concerned how you walk in and walk out with a billion shillings. Even more peculiar was the fact that Shop and Buy only imported PPEs valued at 10 million shillings, yet purportedly went on to do business worth a billion with Kemsa. You said you imported 60%. What was it that you imported? Uh, most of them were the PPEs. The value that you declared these goods at is at 10,007,591 shillings. The amount of uh, taxes uh, that uh, have been paid, taxes remitted in Kenya shilling is 687,562. Chair, I mean, let me put it to you. If you import goods worth 10 million, how does that translate to an invoice to Kemsa worth 1 billion? Anomalies for which a tongue-tied Chelule could not account. So I'm going to ask you again, Mr. James. When did you go? You do not remember the date of the week it was. You do not remember the first letter, what you wanted to supply. You're, you, for, for some reason, you're, 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 you're not remembering anything. With Chelule's testimony not adding up, the committee is now looking for indisputable evidence. If anyone tries to mess with those CCTVs, they're going to be liable. Olive Burrows, NTV.